So hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Kid Dose Ingenious Vlogs. So this is the most awaited vlog which you all have been waiting for. So this is the story of a garden enthusiast and a great artist. Hello everybody. I am Yash's grandma and my name is Suma Prabhu. I am 75. I am interested in gardening. It's my hobby, my passion. Yash is very interested in this species. These are beautiful flowers here. See, I love them so much. These are aloe vera plants. All of you know the importance of these plants. See how beautiful these are. I love them so much. It is called Haliconia, Draupade Bale in Kannada. So this garden is completely maintained by my grandmother and my grandpa. So my grandmother is interested in gardening since her childhood days. So in this vlog you will be seeing the whole garden. This is peace lily and it generates more oxygen which is very very necessary nowadays see how green it looks this is called one delaga in kannada yeah okay ah, and it is very good for memory so you can check out my previous vlog we had prepared a thumbly out of it have you watched it amma yes of course i have watched it <laughs> <laughs> These are Euphorbia milli. It looks so beautiful. No, it's a cactus actually. Okay. Huh. Anthurium. Okay. And see the colors of these plants. This, it looks so beautiful. They are seasonal. These are very common flowers. But they bloom so much and add to the beauty of the garden. Very easy to wear them, to bring them up. They are in different colors. So huge. So huge, so very huge. It is called Monastera. This is Exora, which is very, very useful for Durga Puja. This is called Torch Lily. Torch Lily? Yeah. Them is so long, you can hold it like a torch. Maybe therefore they call it Torch Lily. Okay. This is Tulsi, which is also very important for pujas etc and for health well health also yes most of us will be having this at home no, it is this. there are many varieties in this but at present they are not in bloom see here this garden looks different in different seasons yeah it looks somewhat totally green huh. and in and summer the, bit dry yeah. yeah and in winter sometimes there are winter flowers so so many visitors like the butterflies and the birds come here, they build their nests. It's, uh, it's so beautiful to see all of them. Yeah, of course. And then uh, it's very nice, you know. And moreover, so much oxygen is generated nowadays. So I think each one should have a, at least a small garden in front of their houses. Yeah. So that it adds to the beauty as well as to get more and more oxygen. So oh, this feels like a resort for us. <laughs> Euphorbia milli. These are curry leaves. There you can see the okay. red canna. And of course it looks so beautiful. The red color is good. And these palms, coconut palms, etc. So this was all about the garden. The real home tour begins now. My granny is not just a good gardener, but she is a great artist. And now I'll be showing you some handmade, really great artworks that's made by my grandmother. Huh. Huh. I'm not a great as artist. As no, my, you are a great artist. No, I don't accept it, but <laughs> it is my hobby. This so, okay guys, after showing you the whole artwork, you let me know in the comment section whether she is a great artist or no. Okay, let's begin. Huh. This piece is made made out of old bangle pieces. This peacock is made out of old bangle pieces. These are old bottles and I have painted them. This hanging pot was made by waste pieces. 
But the most important thing is a bulbul used to come and build the nest here and one after the other the bulbul started coming and then 27 chicks were uh, born here in this. They shared the single nest. Is it not nice?